Well, it's time to say happy birthday to Riverbanks Zoo and Garden. They're gearing up to celebrate 50 years in the community, and they have a lot of fun planned for you that you can join in and help them celebrate the Big Five. -0. The zoo actually having a self-guided tour on the history of its opening and is working to continue the preservation of endangered species and environment, so educational as well. Joining us today to talk about all the fun plan that's kicking off tomorrow is the PR manager, Matt Perrin. Thank you so much for being here, Matt. Oh, not a problem. Thanks for having me. I know every time I'm sitting here with you guys, something <laughs> exciting is about to happen. Oh, so. yes. 50 mm -hmm. years of Riverbank Zoo in the community. That that is a major milestone. How is the zoo celebrating this with the community? Well, we're kind of trying to do the all year long celebration. Mm -hmm. Like tomorrow is the actual day. So okay. we're going to be having some fun festivities, which I'm sure we'll talk about. But all of mm -hmm. our events throughout the year are going to be bigger and better than they normally are. We just yeah. finished wine tasting and people were raving because we had a silent disco, which was hilarious watching people <laughs> take part in that. But yeah. we're trying to make everything just 50 year worthy That's this so year good. as we go through. I know you've been working at the zoo for about a year or so now but as being as, as someone that has been established in this community I'm pretty sure you've gone to the zoo several times uh, what makes the South Carolina Columbia, South Carolina, rather, Riverbank Zoo, so unique? It's so unique, I think, just because of, A, its location, mm -hmm. just being on the bank of the river where all the rivers come together. So we're already kind of a natural, outdoorsy type of place. And when you add in the natural aspect of it, it's just amazing. It's the most visited zoo in the southeast. Mm. It's the largest gated attraction in South Carolina. Really a big tourist draw. And as we expand across the river in the coming years, it's going to become really a two-day destination and have new nature trails, nature preserves. And you know, ever since COVID, getting outside and getting out and about has been uh, something that people are really getting back into. So important if people haven't had a chance to really explore the zoo or maybe they just go to that one area that they know is their favorite. I think tomorrow in the self-guided tour that's kicking off will be the perfect time for them to explore all the things that Riverbanks has to offer. So walk us through what's happening tomorrow starting at noon uh, for celebrating 50 years at okay. Riverbanks. Okay, well, as you said, the self-guided history tour starts off whenever you want. You go around. Mm -hmm. What we basically have are history plaques that show which exhibit used to be here, what led right. to it, when did this one come? And so it lists a bunch of our photos from 1975 till now. Mm -hmm. What was there? What is there now? Where you can learn a lot. But then, yes, starting at noon, we have a uh, DJ going to be spinning it up right there in Main Plaza. Yeah. And we're going to have uh, all the mascots from around Columbia are coming out to dance with some of the kids. We have our mascots along with uh, Mason from the Fireflies and Blowy from the Blowfish Smart Cat is showing up. So a okay. bunch of dance uh, parties with the kids. A whole bunch of bubbles are going to be floating around. We'll have little uh, hunts you can go around and look. Just a bunch of family-friendly activities going through for the day tomorrow. We got brand new 50-year uh, photo frames that you can get new photos with. Okay, nice. Any uh, special tickets that you need to purchase? To no, come? no. Okay. Tomorrow's just a normal day. Come out and it just so happens to be our birthday. So come out and uh, have a good time. I, I, I'd go so far to say if you can come out and show on your ID that you were also born on April 25th, 1974, maybe maybe we'll let you in free or oh, something. Oh, nice. Something That's like really that. cool. But, yeah. but don't forget to bring your ID. Don't forget we'll, to we'll bring need, your we'll ID. Proof of that well, one. you heard it here first. <laughs> Speaking of tickets, I understand all around the community there are golden tickets at some of your community partners uh, where you get some special things if you should receive that ticket. Tell us more about that. Yes, we um, really wanted to give back and for our 50 years we decided to go with 50 golden tickets mm -hmm. and really uh, with a lot of the just organizations we've partnered with throughout the years wanted to uh, give back and allow the people of the Midlands a uh, few opportunities you wouldn't normally get. So if you go on our website, you can see some of our participating partners. I mean, you guys may know of one offhand, I yeah. know. But there, there are others out and about. And if you look, there'll be clues on there as to where you might be able to find some of these. I know some have been uh, found and claimed already, but yeah. all kinds of cool prizes on them. You scratch off your ticket. Some of them are a family membership for a year. We have uh, unlimited giraffe feeding. Wow. There's uh, backstage tours that that normally go for a good bit of money. We also have a few uh, opportunities you couldn't ever normally do, like feeding the meerkat, meerkats or Ooh. Susan the Octopus now. 
Oh, nice. Okay, well, listen, guys, a lot of fun to, starting tomorrow, but all throughout the year to celebrate 50 years of Riverbanks. Let's pull the details up to make sure that you are there. Of course, the address, 500 Wildlife Parkway. Tomorrow, the mascots, the DJ, the fun kicks off at noon. Send us some photos. Maybe we can share it here on the show as well. And don't forget, if you only bring your ID, born in 1974, 75. Yes. April 25th. April 25th. 1974. 1974. And you're 50 as well. Hey, maybe you'll get in free tomorrow. All right, we're going to have all the details on our website, SodaCityLive.com. We're going to take a quick break. When we return, we're going to go into the Soda City Live kitchen. Chef Judy is back to show us how to make the perfect charcuterie board for an event that she's planning. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be right back.